Thank you everyone for stopping by my channel, that is Deb Chanel's 48's World, to get your entertainment news, your buzz, your kiki, your laughs, and just your entertainment life from a 51-year-old perspective, okay? What's buzzing out there in the social media world? And when I say social media, I'm talking about all platforms, YouTube, Instagram, Facebook, Google, anything, anywhere where they put out gossip pretty much and informative news that could be correct some things are said could be true but sometimes they're not <laughs> but on social media it doesn't matter people just like the drama the uh idea of something fantastic happening or something that they never thought would happen but somebody's out there doing it you know any type of interest which strikes the mind and curiosity peak in the individual person okay but i'm talking about nene leaks yeah i said nene leaks nene yeah that's right nene leaks okay yes she is on a radio station having an interview with the um interviewer from I think it's Hustle Ooh 93.9 or something like that here in Atlanta. She just dropping all kinds of tea that don't really need to be dropped. Okay, but I guess she has to set the tone on what to expect when we look at season 12 episode for the Real Housewives of Atlanta. But she goes on and try to spill a little tea here and there. For some reason, she always go to the underdog. The underdog has always seemed to have been Cynthia Bailey. I don't know why Nene just keep bullying her, keep, you know, attacking her in any shape, form, or fashion. I, is it because Cynthia don't usually have a spine, a backbone, a sit-up bone to get back with Nene? Or she just too classy of a woman to get down there and get dirty and throw uh, melons and, and tomatoes in the street. <laughs> Either way, we as consumers of drama would love to see Cynthia get off whatever port she's on and get in now and start mudslinging herself. That's all. I mean, we would definitely come to her aid because she's definitely been seen as one who just don't sit there and go against Nene Leakes. Now, I don't know if she's just doing it out of courtesy and she's just kind of playing her part up for the camera to be the nice little one, but we need drama. <laughs> and Cynthia definitely has not been giving it to us. I mean, Peter even outshined her when he was on as a guest or the husband of a housewife. He had more storyline plots that were uh, very much so entertaining than Cynthia. <laughs> he was all like, can we, can I take Cynthia's place? Because we really don't need her. She's just a fixture over there in the corner. And that's pretty much what she's going to give y'all. But me, I can turn it up. I could be, you know, be with the heavy hitters. Messing with NeNe Leaks and, and, and what they call it, roasting on her here and there. I can do it. And then Peter did try to get a show for the gentlemen of the husbands of the wives at the time on Real Housewives of Atlanta. But somehow it just didn't pan out. It wasn't Peter's time. <laughs> it wasn't his season to shine. So he had to shine his little butt on off of the show and go do more adventures on the outside as far as entertaining uh, people, which is his bar one club. Uh, franchises or whatever he got out there doing his don't doing thing as a, a entrepreneur. But getting back to this, I don't know why Nene just won't get off post Cynthia. I don't, and I hate to call her Poe because I I don't know why she won't strike. I mean, here it is going on twelve seasons, and we really haven't seen the best of what Cynthia can possibly give us as just being totally upset. I mean, we saw she was upset with. Uh, Peter, when he was taking her through the ringer here and there, you know, but I'm like, it's just so much you can take with a woman just going after you and after you and after you. It's, it's like you just got to break down and just start punching something. Oh, 
for someone. <laughs> but we don't want to be punching nobody because we don't want no case brought against us. Because we know Nina will be right down there filing charges, signing, you know, paperwork and everything. Put Cynthia behind the balls. Okay. So Cynthia too cute. She said, I ain't about that life. I ain't about that life now. But I really need Cynthia to give us a little something extra. Okay? Put Nene back in her place. It'll probably shock the crap out of Nene if Cynthia did come back with a good comeback. You know what I'm saying? But let me just get on into this article. Okay? Um, where she did um, an interview with Gossip on This was the channel, and it was written by uh, Deverick Turner. I guess I'm pronouncing that right. It was published on July 2nd. But anyway, he titles his article that he wrote for Gossip on This as Nene Leak Slams Weak and Desperate Cynthia Bailey. She's doing whatever she needs to do to remain on Real Housewives of Atlanta. So I'm guessing this is Nene's statement during her interview and they just used it. But I'm like, what it like Nene had, it was during a reunion season. I don't know where she got the little tagline where she said, oh, so nasty, so rude. <laughs> I'm so nasty and rude. And people just went with that because that, that was like a, a staple for me too. When people get on my nerves and I have to say something back to them, they didn't think I would come back that strong. And then they're just like, oh, you just being so nasty and rude. I said, yeah, so nasty, so rude. <laughs> Compliments of Nene, all right? But now I'm like, is she a friend or foe? Is she or was she ever Cynthia's friend or was she always a foe? This is what Cynthia needs to be asking herself. Along when she was around there, I think it was the first couple of seasons, maybe season three, she had stated that she was burning a um, friendship contract. I'm like, who make a friendship contract in the first place? Okay, you either friends verbally or you're not. <laughs> well, who sit down and make somebody sign that you're going to be their friend? I mean, it's so elementary. I don't even think we would do that in Well, we probably would do it in elementary because we ain't evolved yet. Our minds are still like mush. We love everybody or we don't like everybody. You know what I'm saying? Good kid versus bad kid. You know, but anyway, let's go back to the commentary. He writes, Nene Leaks is making sure that friendship, wait a minute, Nene Leaks is making sure that friendship contract she signed with Cynthia Bailey way back in season, so I was right, way back in season three of The Real Housewives of Atlanta is null and void. Nene is slamming her former buddy as weak and desperate. So what is she? Is she weak and desperate or nasty and rude? Hmm, or what's that Kim Zosiac? She was calling nasty and rude, or they were calling her. She was just repeating it back. But now I'm just putting it to the face of Cynthia Bailey. Cynthia, are you desperate and weak? Or are you nice or nasty? Which one, honey? Which one? Because Nene needs some comeback. We need you to come back on Nene, especially season 12. We don't need you to be hiding, hiding around. I got a man now. And I'm just going to be worried about him. I'm going to leave all these haters alone. No, we need you to come back. Because you might be with uh, Mike one or two years. Or y'all may not even get a year out. But you're going to still have your arch nemesis, Nene. And we need the drama to con you know, continue as so. So, come on. We don't want to see, you know, all this other stuff with Matt. I mean, not Matt, but uh, Mike. We don't want to see all that. We want to see you grow your wings and get women in check that come for you. Period. Period and point blank. That's what we want. Okay? At least yeah, that's what I want. I want to see you pipe it up some. Turn the tea kettle on high and start spouting. Girl, this is what I'm waiting on. I'm like, dang. Got to wait to season 13 for you to come out here. Yeah, you might not even be on Real Housewives. Somebody else probably would be on place too. You know you need it. You just bought late Baylor, honey. And them shades you got going on and the luggage, I ain't hearing too much about it. What is selling that, baby? What is selling? So I'm going to need you to continue to hold your seat, but pump it up a little bit. Everybody done got kind of crunk. Hey, even Eva kind of got kind of crunk there for a minute until she had to start hiding stuff, you know, with 
uh, FBI being involved and, and, and criminal charges and domestic violence things too. She's trying to throw out on the tube and on uh, Real Housewives of Atlanta as far as taping and I didn't find no grounds. <laughs> there was no grounds for all of that. She didn't come with no evidence. She didn't give us anything that we could physically see. Okay, so I, I'm just I'm shading evil right now because I'm like, uh, uh-uh. uh, I don't believe now you say you just lying to us. You lying to us, girl. You like a politician. Say one thing, uh, in front of my face and then go talk behind my back. Um, I can't fool with evil right now. I can't care. I had to put a long handed spoon, love her from a distance. Because I'm still trying to figure out what she doing. Is she staying in Atlanta or is she going to Dallas? Which one? Which one? She's been hollering saying she ain't going nowhere. So I don't know what the truth is. But before this year out, we'll definitely know. <laughs> we will definitely know. But getting back to the article. Uh, going back to Nene slamming her former buddy as weak and desperate. Okay, Nene joins Cynthia and several of their castmates on Bravo's Pride Parade float on Sunday, June 30th. However, float on Sunday, I'm sorry, (laughs) however, prior to the engagement, she made it clear that she had no intentions of having a conversation with Cynthia. (laughs) Well, why does that not surprise us, Nene? You don't want a conversation with none of the Real Housewives of Atlanta, okay? Unless they're from New Jersey, New York, Potomac, uh, Beverly Hills, you know, those kind of people, Nene. But you don't want nothing to do with your own town, your own town folks of the housewives. You don't want to be bothered, okay? You don't see it for them. You just don't see it for them. But going back to the commentary, she goes on to say, I do not plan to talk to her, Nene, told Laurel of the morning hustle. I feel sorry for her. I can say hello. I can stand beside her. I just can't have no combo. We can't. We don't have a conversation. <laughs> Nitty is just too much. She's turning in such a bully, such a bully format. She's making herself uh, be known as. That was my commentary, not in this article. Uh, we go back to the article. It says Nitty said that. Wait a minute. Nitty said that, and Cynthia had a real relationship outside of Real Housewives of Atlanta, but she feels like Cynthia backstabbed her in a desperate mood to remain relevant on the show. I was a friend to her, no matter what the show portrayed. She knows that, and I know that. I feel like she was a friend to me, and I feel like I was a friend to her. I feel like she has definitely fallen victim. She needs to do whatever she needs to do to stay on the show. Well, Nene, ain't that what you're doing, girl? Ain't, ain't that what you're doing? You call a foul on every last housewife that come to even try to give you some competition with the drama. You 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 call foul on everybody. And then hopefully nobody ain't uh, dying or, or, or seriously ill. But then you want to make that as a storyline and you want to try to make everybody feel sorry for you and your situation. Okay? And, and we ain't here for that no more. We ain't here for that. Okay? Give us another storyline. We don't want to hear about no dog die, no no other relative sick. We, we want to know what's going on with you. Okay? And what you doing. What, what moves are you making? And who are you, um, what do you call it, being unnice to? We, that's what we want to know. We want to stick with the women on the show. Give us something. Give us something more than, oh, you just all in your feelings. People need to be there for you. They were there for you. The whole season of uh, season 11. And it tired me out so. <laughs> it desperately tired me out so. I'm like, I was seeing the weak part of Nene. Yes, I was. Okay? Now you want to show us this bully side. And I'm not too fond of that either. Okay? You can shy. I keep Sam Marlowe is the epitome of a person that needs a uh, page. Okay, she need to be your uh, nemesis now. Because y'all are not too buddy buddy, but she still outshine you when she trying to throw the dirt and dish, uh, the dish, put the dishes out on people. Okay, and she come back and still play like she ain't did nothing. You having nice conversations. She ain't being a bully to nobody. She just setting it up how it's supposed to be set up as a drama plot line and she just letting it all play out but you you gotta go around i ain't speaking to them i don't know them uh we're no longer friends why they still here (laughs) i'm the hbic in charge and i'm like 
girl, that is just, it's, it's, it's like you don't beat it. It's a dead horse. Put a fork in it. Storylines dead. Give us something new, Nina. Give us something new. Okay, now getting back to the commentary. Uh, it says the Real Housewives of Atlanta OG says that producers know not to play the game with her. I'm not that girl. I'm never going to do whatever I need to do to stay on the show, she said. Really, Nene? Really? Really now? Okay, but when you're trying to um, keep Sheree off the show, when you're trying to keep Kim off the show, <laughs> I mean, come on, girl. You almost choked her one time, then on the bus. Remember that? Girl, then you ought to stop. You ought to stop, girl. Okay. Going back to the article says, I'm this kind of girl. If you are my girl, if we down, we down. Now, the producers ain't going to be able to tell me nothing. And they don't know. I mean, and they know they ain't going to be able to tell me nothing. Okay, they would never be able to come to me and be like, you need to turn on Cynthia. And I'll be like, you know, that ain't ever going to happen. Okay, they can tell her that, though, because she's weaker. She'll, she's definitely weak, Minnie added. She's doing whatever she needs to do uh, to where she looks really desperate. Yeah, Nene also claimed that Cynthia has done a lot that people don't even know about to hurt their friendship. I'm like, well, girl, why are you telling me? You telling us everything else? You telling us she weak? She going behind your back doing stuff, backstabbing and all like that? Go on and drop the tea. Hey, we've been waiting for it for 12 years. Okay, go on it. My well, 12 seasons. Go on and drop the tea. It's time. It's time to drop the tea, okay? Who the tea is running over. So then we go back to the commentary. It says, the two former friends did ride Robbo's pride float together, but it's unclear how they reacted with each other, even if even at all. Cynthia enjoyed the parade with her daughter, Noel, and Real Housewives of Atlanta cast mate, Eva Marcel, while Nene was seen with Marlo Hampton and a few other Bravolette broodies. <laughs> if y'all watched my uh, video, I did cover the... Uh, Pride event that was held in New York City, and I gave y'all my commentary on how Nene was trying to hook up with the other cast, the Real Housewives of Atlanta. I think they were from New Jersey, or it could have been New York, or maybe a mixture of both of them. And they weren't paying Nene no mind. They weren't paying her no mind. They wasn't. <laughs> I'm like, girl, pay Marlo with you, and y'all gone about y'all business, okay? But towards the end of the commentary. It was written, Nene has officially signed on for season 12 of Real Housewives of Atlanta, along with Cynthia, and we see just how bad this formal uh, friendship has gotten, especially with Kenya Moore, the root cause of the friction, rejoining the series. And see, that was another thing. Then it ends there, y'all. But that's another thing. Nene wants to control who converse with who, who hang out with who. If she don't like them, she expects you not to like them. But she could go behind closed doors and talk to have you know, talk with them and have a conversation behind the scenes. But um, when you when they're rolling camera, she don't want to be known as knowing them or, or having any dealings with them. Okay? I'm like, Nene, sit down, girl. Sit down. Just get ready to battle the younger women. Okay? Instead of you being a mother figure, because you're older than all of them, pretty much. And I don't see why you're trying to act like you're younger than them or you're at the same age. You could they could look for you to for wisdom and how to handle yourself and conduct yourself. But they can't do that, Nene, because you're acting like a child. You're acting like a one to two year old when it comes to being in friendships with women. You don't want if it's somebody you don't like, you want everybody not to like. Even Marlo gets timid sometimes to want to hang out with Kenya, want to hang out with Cynthia. Or hell, even Eva. But she got to see how it's going to look. Or if it gets back to you, how you going to treat her. And and Marlo need her coin too. She needs to appear here and there. Yeah, she needs to get her revenue in also. Okay, she ain't trying to stop. She ain't trying to let nobody, excuse me, stop her bag. She needs her bag too. She might be, you know, a little 
person dating folks behind the scenes and they, you know, lavishing gifts on her, this, that, and third. Ain't my business. Ain't your business. It's just how she lives, okay? And she's living pretty nice, all right? She don't want nobody in her business like that. That's why I guess she remains as a friend of the show. Okay, she's just there to stir up the pot, put a little ingredients in it, and then walk away and let it sim. <laughs> That's what she do. And I'm here for it. I'm here for Marlo. Yes, all day, every day. But Nene, she just getting beside herself. She acting more like a child. I used to ride for Nene. But when you start, just keep picking on people. Just keep poking about. Keep poking the animal. Keep poking you know, the clothes, trying to get them to bite back or say something. That's just ridiculous. I'm like, pick on somebody on size, you know. Stop tormenting another individual that you've already deemed as weak. So why do you keep using her as a storyline? All right, but since I need you to wake up, baby, I need you to surprise shock the heck out of Nene and come with a 1-2 KO punch out. Knock, knock out, you know what I'm saying? Knock out. I need you to show up and show out this season. Okay, Cynthia? But anyway, that was my commentary on Nene and Cynthia's few. I mean, Cynthia is paying her dust. She's silent in these streets. And that's good. Now, it shows me that you are a true adult. And, you know, you got a child that's looking at you. And you don't want to seem too ratchet. I get it, Cynthia. I get it. But sometimes, honey... Sometimes it just builds up to a point where, whoo, you know, you have to pop that cork off of that champagne because it's going to burst regardless. I hate it. And I would hate to see it get to a point where you just go ballistic on somebody because you don't hear all this pent up emotion in. So do yourself a favor. Do us all a favor. Erupt. Erupt like a hot, uh, we call it, massive volcano that needed to burst. To free itself, okay, with all the junk and stuff. That's all I'm asking. Just a little bit. Just a little bit. Show me a little bit. That's all. That's all, Cynthia. But y'all be good to y'all selves. I just thought I'd break that down to you all. Still following Nene around because I'm just wanting her to change for the better, but she keep going south. She just keep going south, all right? And I want Cynthia to pull up and, you know, put her back in her place as a woman should do when her name is getting drugged through the mud. But then, like I say, I, I kind of appreciate Cynthia in a way because she's trying to keep it 100. She's trying to keep herself a lady and let Nene go out here looking like a, a displaced child. Yes, that needs to be chastised. All right. But Cynthia, everybody can't keep doing your battles for you, honey. You got to sit up, open that mouth, and put up, set up straight. Set up straight now. But they say once you put a person straight, once you set them straight, they won't mess with you no more. Okay, they will not. Sometimes you have to fight the bully. And you might come out victorious. They should know she cannot. It, it, it probably shot shit out of her too. It will probably shot shit that you came back with some comeback. And she'll probably leave you alone, Cynthia. It don't take one time. One time, Cynthia. That's all I'm telling you. One time. Okay? Keep the uh, haters off you. Keep the haters off you. Okay? All right, but that's all I got. Talk to y'all soon for something else to review on. And y'all have a great and wonderful night and a blastful, peaceful, safe 4th of July. Good night.